Hi guys! Today I'm reviewing the Nutribullet RX. With this unit, you can make smoothies, nut butters, and soup with a 7 minute heated cycle. It comes with the power base, short cup, the short cup holds 30 ounces, with a comfort lip ring, screws right on top of the cup in case you want to drink out of it. There is a max line on the cup, so don't fill above that. This is the oversized cup that holds 45 ounces. The max line is marked right up here. This is great for multiple servings. A resealable lid. You can use a lid with either the short cup or the oversized cup. And this is the pitcher for making soups. It comes with a two-piece lid. The pitcher also has a max line. This is the blade that you can use with the pitcher, the 45 ounce cup, or the short cup. There's also a two-piece lid that you can use with the pitcher. A blade remover and cleaning brush are also included. There's a user guide, quick start guide, and a hardcover recipe book. There are recipes based on different color categories. You could take a quiz in the beginning and figure out which color category you fit under, like the oranges, yellows, greens, etc. There's some nutritional information on fruits and vegetables. Towards the end of the book, there are recipes for soups, nut butters, and some coffee drinks. You can't grind dry things like grains or coffee with this unit. Also, don't blend hot liquids. The height of the Nutribullet with the soup pitcher in place is about 19 inches, and it definitely won't fit under my cupboards. If I'm using the short cup, it'll fit underneath my cupboards. The width is a little over six inches, so it's not very large and shouldn't take up too much space on your countertop. The cord length is about 37 inches. The base is very simple. It just has a power on off button here and a G button in the middle. It's very simple to operate. There's no turning, no twisting. All you do is place your cup with the blade directly in the base. It just drops in. The Nutribullet RX starts blending as soon as you put the cup with the blade directly into the base. It's extremely simple to use. When you first get the unit, wash all the parts in warm soapy water and dry. All the cups and lids are top rack dishwasher safe. The blade is hand wash only and nothing here is removable. There's a rubber liner inside the base, don't remove it. If anything spills inside, you can just wipe it with a warm sponge and dry. The base can be wiped down with a damp cloth and dried. I'll make a tropical smoothie in the short cup. I'm using some frozen pineapple chunks, about a half a cup, frozen mango chunks, same amount, half a cup, and I'll use coconut water as my liquid. It's a little over a cup. Screw on the blade. Just hand tighten it. Plug in the base, press the power button on the side, and it'll turn blue. Once you put the cup into the base, the G button will be green. It'll automatically run for one minute, and the G button will stop glowing green. If you want to stop it before the minute, lift the cup off the base or press the power button. After each use, press the power button to turn it off. The cycle stops automatically after a minute. During the cycle, you noticed it was slow and then fast. That's normal. Pull the cup straight up and press the power button to turn off. The base has suction feet. Unscrew the blade. Here's our tropical smoothie. The pineapple especially smells really good. If you want to try out this Nutribullet RX, I've put a link in the description below. There are no chunks, everything looks smooth. Taste it. It's perfectly smooth, there are absolutely no bits of fruit. Really nice smoothie. We'll make a smoothie in the 45 ounce cup. There's also a max line on this cup, don't fill above that. I'll start with some baby spinach leaves. About two cups. Blueberries. About one cup, one pear cut up, quarter cup of raw cashew pieces, two tablespoons of cocoa powder, and some milk. You can use any kind of milk. Okay. 
Here's the max line so you can see how much we can fit in this 45 ounce cup. Screw the blade on. Minute is up, pull the cup up. You can see this makes at least two or three servings. There are no chunks. It is smooth. The blueberries are broken down, the spinach is broken down, the nuts, they're broken down, but you can taste a little bit of the graininess. Pretty decent job on this smoothie. Make sure to clean the blade right after using the Super Blast or Nutri Blast. Nutri Blast recipes are in the recipe book and contain hardier, stickier ingredients like oats, nuts, and powders. If something is stuck on and needs a more thorough cleaning, fill the cup or pitcher two-thirds full with warm soapy water and run for 30 seconds. You can also use the included cleaning brush. Now let's try making soup. Screw the blade onto the pitcher some spinach, cut up tomatoes, two medium tomatoes, two carrots cut up, and two stalks of celery cut up. I'm also adding a little bit of celery leaves and flat leaf parsley. Splash of hot sauce. For the liquid you can add vegetable broth or water. About two cups. When making soup, always remember to put the cover on. After you put the pitcher into the base to turn into Super Blast mode, you're just going to push down the G button for two seconds and it'll turn red. Once it turns red, it'll run for seven minutes. After seven minutes, the cycle will end. So I'm turning the machine off because it looks like it's overflowing a little bit. I'll pour some of the contents out. The container's very warm. I hope you can see the steam. It is, it is very hot. I'll use the soup blaster mode again, but just blend it for about three minutes. You don't want to blend it again for the full seven minutes. You're not supposed to run two cycles in a row of the soup blaster mode. The motor may overheat. So that was a total of seven minutes between the first time and the second time. It is steaming hot. You can see all the steam coming out of the cap. The pitcher is also very hot, so you can use a cloth or a mitt. That gives you about four cups of liquid. I'll just taste this. It doesn't look very good, but it does taste pretty good. And it's piping hot. It should be about 70 degrees Celsius or 150 degrees Fahrenheit. There is a max line here on the pitcher and I did fill above that a little bit and that's why the pitcher overflowed when I was making the soup. I was following this garden party soup recipe from the recipe book. The measurements I followed almost exactly except I did not add half of a beet. So be very careful if you're going to use the recipes in the recipe book and always make sure your ingredients, including the liquid, don't go above the max line. This Nutribullet is very powerful. It blended the smoothies nicely and the soup function works fine as long as you don't fill above the max line. Again, don't follow the recipes in the book blindly like I did. If you want to try out this Nutribullet RX, I've put a link in the description below. As always, I hope you found this review helpful. Subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.